Hello students. Last time we have started ethers in which we have completed methods of preparation of ethers and then physical properties of ethers. Now we are going to see chemical properties of ethers. Now in case of ethers, ethers possesses COC linkage. This linkage or bond is strong bond. It is called as strong etheric linkage. Due to this, these ethers are less reactive or they are inert. Their aqueous solution of ether is neutral in nature. It does not react with acid as well as bases. Again, it does not react with oxidizing agents and reducing agents and also with active metals. But when ethers are Treated with or dissolves in cold and concentrated solution of H2SO4 to form oxonium salt or oxonium ion. This property distinguishes ether from hydrocarbons. Now here, look here. This is ether R O R dash. When it is treated with cold and concentrated H2SO4, this lone pair of electron present on this oxygen atom of ether get attracted toward this H plus ion and this OSO3 H minus ion is removed. Here formation of R O H positive R dash plus OSO3 H minus. This is oxonium ion. Here formation of oxonium ion or oxonium salt takes place. First reaction we have seen laboratory test for ethers in which when ethers dissolves in cold and concentrated H2SO4 to form oxonium ion. Now we are going to see second reaction, reaction involving alkyl groups of ether. That is this alkyl group. If we take example of diethyl ether. Then here, this alkyl group involved in the reaction. Now when ethers are exposed to air, then it combines with atmospheric oxygen to form peroxide. Now this diethyl ether, when exposed in air or in atmosphere, it reacts with atmospheric oxygen atom to form peroxide like this CH3. CH, O, O, H, O, CH2, CH3. This is, it is peroxide of diethyl ether. Peroxide of diethyl ether. Now, all ethers which have been exposed to atmosphere contains peroxide. And this peroxide ether are hazardous since they react violently at high temperature. That is peroxide of ethers are hazardous. That is they are dangerous since they decompose violently at high temperature. Third reaction we are going to see is reactions involving breaking of CO bond in which first reaction we are going to see reaction with hot and dilute solution of H2SO4 that is sulfuric acid. Now this reaction is also named as hydrolysis of ether. Now in this reaction when ethers react with hot dilute sulfuric acid then here it undergo hydrolysis to give corresponding alcohol. For example, if simple ether undergo hydrolysis, then here formation of one two molecules of alcohol takes place. That is R O H. That is this ether undergo hydrolysis to form R O H and R O H. That is two molecules of R O H are formed. This is alcohol. Formation of alcohol takes place. Now, if mixed ether undergo 
hydrolysis in presence of hot dilute sulfuric acid then here formation of two different molecules of ether that is ROH and R-OH both are alcohols but different alcohols or mixture of two alcohols are obtained and if aromatic ethers that is AROR undergo hydrolysis in acidic medium then here formation of phenol and alcohol takes place this is phenol and this is alcohol in this way ethers when treated with hot dilute sulfuric acid then it undergo hydrolysis to give corresponding alcohols and aromatic ethers gives phenol and alcohol now second reaction which contains reaction involving CO bond reaction with PCL5 that is phosphorus pentachloride now here when ethers are treated with phosphorus pentachloride or ethers are heated with phosphorus pentachloride or PCL5 then here formation of alkyl chlorides takes place that is formation of alkyl chlorides takes place now it is ether RO R dash when this compound is heated with phosphorus pentachloride or PCL5 then here formation of RCL plus R dash Cl plus POCl3 these are alkyl chlorides two different alkyl chlorides are formed if reaction is carried out with mixed ether if reaction is carried out with simple ether then one two molecules of similar alkyl chlorides are obtained now we are going to see third reaction which involve breaking of CO bond that is reaction with hot and concentrated acid that is hydrogen halides now here hydrogen halides means HCl, HBi or HI and the order of reactivity of hydrogen halide that is HX is HI is more reactive than HBr and then HCl HCl is least reactive now here when ether is treated with hydrogen halide or when it is heated with hydrogen halide then here formation of one molecule of alkyl halide that is Rx and one molecule of alcohol that is ROH now this alcohol this is alkyl halide and this is alcohol now here this alcohol formed in first step again react with second molecule of HX to form alkyl halide plus H2O here formation of alkyl halide takes place that is when ethers are created with hydrogen halide like HI or HBr gives corresponding alkyl halide and alcohol and this alcohol form again converted into alkyl halide that is formation of alkyl halide takes place for example CH3 CH2 O CH2 CH3 this is diethyl ether then when it is treated with HI hot HI hot and concentrated HI then here formation of CH3 CH2 I plus CH3 CH2 OH and this alcohol again react with HI to form CH3 CH2 I plus H2O this is ethyl iodide this is ethanol this ethanol again converted into ethyl iodide now we are going to see mechanism of 
reaction of ether with hot and concentrated HR. Now it is two step mechanism. Here step first involves formation of oxonium ion in which we are going to see this example this is ethyl methyl ether when this ethyl methyl ether ethyl methyl ether is a mixed ether when it is treated with or heated with hot HR then here formation of oxonium ion takes place on this oxygen atom there are two lone pairs of electron in which one lone pair of electron attract this H plus ion and I minus ion is removed to form oxonium ion that is CH3O H positive CH2 CH3 plus I minus ion that is here formation of oxonium ion takes place now in second step nucleophilic attack of I minus ion on this oxonium ion takes place but this attack takes place according to SN2 mechanism that is here simultaneous backside attack of I minus ion takes place on this less substituted alkyl group and then removal of this alcohol takes place and here first transition state is formed that is like this Now here it is delta minus charge, here also there is delta minus charge. This is intermediate or transition state. That is here formation of CI bond takes place and simultaneously breaking of CO bond also occur. And then it is finally converted into CH3 I plus CH3 CH2 OH. That is methyl iodide is formed and ethanol is formed. Now, due to presence of excess hot HI, this ethyl alcohol is converted into CH3, CH2, I. In previous example, we have seen that when simple as well as mixed ether, when heated with hot HI, hot and concentrated HR then reaction follows SN2 mechanism but if ethers containing tertiary butyl group when it is treated with hot HR then it follows SN1 mechanism now we know that in SN1 mechanism that is nucleophilic substitution unimolecular mechanism the reaction takes place by the formation of carbonium ion that is tertiary butyl carbonium ion. Therefore, this reaction is carried out in step two steps. In step first, formation of tertiary butyl carbonium ion or carbocation takes place, and in second step, attack of nucleophile takes place. Now, this is methyl tertiary butyl or sorry, it is tertiary butyl methyl ether. Now here. When this ether which contains tertiary butyl group is heated with hot HR then by the gain of activation energy it is slowly converted into tertiary butyl carbonium ion or tertiary butyl carbocation like this CH3, C, CH3, CH3 positive and here this CH3O is removed as CH3OH due to presence of this HI and I minus ion. Now in second step, now this tertiary butyl carbonium ion is stable carbonium ion and in second step attack of nucleophile that is I minus takes place on this carbonium ion from front side as well as from back side to form CH3 C, CH3, CH3, I, that is tertiary butyl iodide. 